Hello everyone, this is Ibrahimo from Wolof Academy and welcome to the first episode of my new video series Learn Wolof with Music. A few weeks ago I asked you guys on my Instagram page what type of content you'd be interested in and some of you told me that you would love to learn new Senegalese songs. So I came up with this new video idea. Hopefully you guys like it. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the song starts with the sentence Foko Ejeleti, which means where would you find him again? For is the shortened version of Fanga, which means where you. Word for word, the whole sentence could be translated to where you, singular, him, find, again. Nga is an object emphasis pronoun. It's focusing our attention on the word fan, meaning where. It's often used in asking or answering questions that identify the object or complement. Then we have ko, which is an object pronoun which could either mean him, her, or it. But in this particular case, it means him. You can notice the Y at the end of ko, which means that the sentence is in the present tense. Here, jelly is an action verb meaning to take, or in some particular cases like ours, to find. You can also notice that we've appended the suffix a, which is used to license objects with semantic role of instrument, manner, or location. In this case, we are emphasizing on the location of what's being taken or found, and it is the singer himself, Suleiman Fai. So, jol means to take, but jole means to take from. Then we have t at the end of jole, which we could translate to again. So, jole means to take from, and jole t means to take from again. Here we have three different pronouns. First of all, we have ku, which is an interrogative pronoun or more specifically, a relative pronoun. Most of the time it means who or like in this particular case, someone. Then we have la, which is an object pronoun that we could translate to you. Finally, at the end of the sentence, we have man, which is an independent pronoun meaning I. In between these pronouns, we have bug, which means to love, to like, and ni, which we could translate to like. So, word for word, the whole sentence gives us who, you, singular, love, like, I. The sentence is quite interesting. First of all, we have the interrogative pronoun ku, which we already know. Then we have the object pronoun la, meaning you, to which we've appended y to display the present tense. Then comes the verb wah, meaning to talk or to tell. After that, we have dug, meaning truth, followed by jo, which is the contracted version of jinga. So if we look at this part again, it becomes dg jinga. Dg ji could be translated to the truth. Unlike English, Wolof puts the article after the word it's designating. That's why ji comes after the word dg. Now you should know that there are several articles that you can use alongside a word, and they are grouped in 10 noun classes, but that's another topic for another day. Nga is an object emphasis pronoun, meaning you. Bug means to love, to like. Bagul is the negation form meaning don't like. And deg means to hear. Okay, so if you don't really understand this part, it's fine. I myself didn't really understand it at first either. But it's basically a bad metaphor. He's basically saying everyone has a position they fall asleep in and a God-given position they wake up in. Hopefully it makes a tad more sense to you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, I don't know if you guys have noticed but the singer Suleiman Fai went from 4K Jeleti, which means where would you find him again to Fumakoi Jeleti, which means where would I find her again? And I think it's nice because um, the song is not only about how he is the perfect guy for her, but it's also about how she is the perfect woman for him, and that's nice. 
Translating this sentence was a bit hard because though fear means to be jealous in English, it's not only limited to that. See someone willingly saying that they want their partner to get jealous over them might seem a little weird to you guys, but in Senegal it could be seen as cute. Furthermore, being fear is not only limited to someone you have a romantic relationship with, but it could also be one of your siblings. Now of course, if you are too much fear, it could be annoying, however a little bit of that is considered cute. So I think being fear of someone simply implies that you have a certain connection with that person that might get you jealous at one point. So it could be your daughter, it could be your sister, it could be your brother, I mean anyone. <laughs> Here we see another use case of the prefix a and it is for a hypothetical scenario. Bu serves as if or when. La is the object pronoun meaning you. Bu bi Allah means God Almighty and bug means to love. Since we've used bu at the very beginning of the sentence, we've appended a at the end of bug. That's the end of the video guys, thank you for watching it. Um, if you like this kind of concept, um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, see you next time.